Okay, hi. Um, wait. Okay, hi. Um, yeah, today this is gonna be a quick video. Um, look at my, <laughs> look at my new hat. I just bought it today, um, and I'll be wearing it on my trek around the Annapurna. Um, I'll be leaving uh, in uh, in about. Uh, 10 days or so yes so um, this video is really only <laughs> to answer one question that I was asked um, and I thought why not explain <laughs> because it's such a nice question um, I, I'm only quoting right now okay um, the Manoj Manoj Manuj, oh my god, my Nepali, wrote to me, uh, please share how you learned Nepali so well. My sister and I help out with the Nepali school here in town and we want to get the kids to learn as well as you did. Thanks. So how did I learn Nepali? Um, so, well, I've been to Nepal five times and if you count all the times together that I've been there, it should be something around 14 months, right? And I did very different stuff while in Nepal. First time I volunteered, um, second time I worked for the embassy, uh, for the German embassy, um, and both times I stayed in a host family, in Nepal for host family. The third time was totally different again. I just was visited as a tourist for one month. Then the fourth time I went and uh, actually worked for the uh, GTZ the German governmental development organization for six months um, doing actual uh, field research uh, somewhere um, in the countryside, yeah, in the village, where I had to even interview people in Nepali. And the last visit was um, when I uh, went again to do research, but this time independently for my um, master thesis in social anthropology and also having to, to only rely on my own language skills. Uh, so, but how did I learn it? Well, after the, like during the first day, I didn't really, really learn anything, but I was so in love with the country after I returned, uh, I was young <laughs> and in love with the country. And I really, learning the language was basically my, um, um, my way of healing my heartbreak over not being in Nepal anymore. So I sat down in Germany and just got a book and learned. Um, yeah, and that's more or less basically what I did. I never really went to a school, tried once or twice, took some lessons, but never really did anything good for me. And uh, everybody has their different learning styles styles, um, learning languages, and for me it's really, I am an autodidact, and I really hope this word exists in English, meaning a person who really teaches herself well, um, and it's it's uh, from talking to people, being persistent, asking what does it mean, not giving up, and especially, and that's, that's important with any language, just don't give a hack of uh, <laughs> give a heck um, about what anybody thinks, um, how good or bad uh, your language skills are. You are learning, you are practicing, and it's uh, it would be very strange if you wouldn't make any mistakes. That's, that's, I, <laughs> whenever I say this thing is, I have to, I, I'm remembering for whatever reason, how I arrived my second time in Nepal <laughs> and um, the um, driver from the embassy picked me up at the airport and brought me to the embassy and <laughs> I, 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 my, my, my Nepali must have been really bad at that time but that didn't keep me from talking to him and I just, I think I just remember his face. He was slightly um, confused, tiny bit annoyed but also amused. So that was kind of, in the end, this is the kind of mixture you always get from people when you have this kind of persistence about speaking in a language that you kind of know only 100 words in, you know. <laughs> it's lovely. 
<laughs> yeah. So, but that, that that's kind of the same start. And and yes, and yeah, one thing specifically about Nepali, I want to say is um, because um, yes, I've also I also, but this is about me, you know. I also I learned to read and write Nepali, na Nagari. I can read and write in pretty fluent. I I, I haven't had much practice lately, but it's okay. You can read it. I mean, it, <laughs> friends tell me the way I write is how kids uh, write when they are in um, uh, primary school. You know, <laughs> it's not really sophisticated handwriting, <laughs> but it's it's sufficient. And but yeah, what I wanted to say is learn the grammar. You know, don't don't. It's like some some language courses they try to tell you, or in some some guidebooks they have this little language guide in it and they kind of teach you some kind of weird crappy Nepali some something I don't I don't as if some I honestly would say it's retarded Nepali <laughs> I don't sorry it's it's not not an offensive even if it sounds like that but it's um yeah sorry nothing I I would recommend rather just take it. It's, it's a language as any other language, so learn it, learn it, learn it, learn it. That's all. <laughs> that's all. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. Bye. I just have to find how to switch it off. Damn it. Damn it. Bye. <sighs> Sorry, I'm gone. Almost gone. Almost. Oh, shit. Okay, bye.